So since graduating college, I have improved my fashion sense tremendously and my wardrobe to go along with it. This improvement in my wardrobe didn't come from having a job or having more money in my checking account, but really came down to a shift in how I was approaching buying clothes. Instead of buying clothes that I just enjoyed, I bought clothes that I knew I needed and were versatile that I could utilize on many different occasions. What is going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldessar and in this video, we're gonna be discussing 16 fashion essentials every guy needs in his wardrobe. By no means will these 16 articles of clothing be enough to say that you have a complete wardrobe, but it is an amazing place to start, and I don't think any wardrobe is complete without them. So without further ado, guys, let's jump in to the video. So first up, we have a white t-shirt. So no matter the season, this will be a complete workhorse. Throw it under a jacket for a perfect layering piece or wear it straight up in the summer with jeans and sneakers for that classic look. A good fitting t-shirt should be snug around your chest and the sleeve should be right around your arm. So you should be revealing half of your upper arm. You can go with either a crew neck or a V-neck t-shirt, but please, for all that is holy, do not get a deep V. Nobody wants to see your cleavage. Next up, we have a polo shirt. A polo shirt is a versatile spring, summer, fall garment for those moments when a dress shirt is too much and a t-shirt is just not enough. It should fit similar to a t-shirt, snug around the chest and should reveal a little upper arm to show off uh, your arms. And for colors, I recommend very neutral, versatile colors like a black, a gray, charcoal, or a navy. Next, we have an article of clothing that I pretty much wear every single week, multiple times a week, and that is dark denim jeans. Everyone needs at least one pair of jeans in their wardrobe. This pair of jeans will potentially be the most versatile piece of clothing that you have, and dark denim jeans have a ton of versatility on top of that. They can be worn casually. However, unlike lighter denim or black denim, they can be dressed up more easily and look great with a blazer or a sports coat. So say you're a guy who does not like jeans as much and they don't really fit your style, chinos are the next best option for those casual bottoms that you're looking for. One of the best things about chinos is that they have a wide array of styles and colors, so you have a lot of flexibility for interjecting your own personality with them. And to start, I would get a khaki colored pair. For the summer, get a lighter khaki. In the winter, go for a darker khaki. From there, you can go into navy, a charcoal, or an olive green, and there's a ton of other colors that you can experiment with. However, start with a classic khaki before branching out. Okay, the next article of clothing is a bit obvious, a suit. Whether it is a fancy night out in the town, a wedding, a job interview, or a funeral, you need a versatile suit that fits you like a glove. For colors, start with a charcoal or a gray suit. Neutral colors like these grays and these charcoals will suit every single type of skin color and also work with different accessory colors. So if you wanna sport it with a black leather accessory or a brown leather accessory, that's the beauty behind choosing this color suit. So definitely start there. So you're rocking the suit from the previous recommendation, but now you need to figure out what shoes you're wearing. Look no further than a classic pair of Oxford dress shoes. I would say start with brown because it's more traditional. The great thing about brown Oxfords is they are easy to dress down as well. Wear them with a dark wash denim and white dress shirt and you are rocking a casual look with the best of them. For those times when you're not working, maybe you're going out on a night on the town, you're going to need a versatile pair of white sneakers. And yes, I love white sneakers. They do have their issues when it comes to keeping them clean. So if you do have the budget, maybe pick up a black pair of sneakers as well so they don't show as much dirt. However, there's nothing like a fresh pair of white sneakers to put a casual look together. Next up, we have a watch. And if you did not anticipate me in bringing up watches, you obviously are new around here. When it comes to accessorizing as a man, nothing comes to the top of mind quicker than a nice versatile watch. And understanding what watch you have to buy you first have to understand the lifestyle that you have and what complements it in terms of what watch you're looking for. For me, a dress watch is a better place to start since it fits my lifestyle better, but if you're somebody who has a more heavily labor-intensive job, walking around with an elegant dress watch would not be very smart. I've recently made some videos listing off great watches for multiple price points. If you're interested in buying a new watch, I highly suggest you check out those videos and we'll link to them in the description down below. So the next recommendation kind of depends on where you're from, but you're honestly going to need boots no matter where you're at. 
just depends on what type of boot you're gonna go for. I would say the most versatile boot is a leather chukka boot. It can be worn in the summer and the spring and is a perfect fall boot as well. In addition, it can hold up against the snow if you get a high quality leather option, although not ideal. However, when deciding on a boot, think about your lifestyle, think about the climate you're in and what will be the boot that will provide the most situations to wear it. So every single guy, actually scratch that, every single person needs an amazing pair of sunglasses. So when looking to buy a pair of sunglasses, be sure to find a pair that complements your face shape. I recommend a classic Clubmaster or an Aviator. And if you're in need of prescription sunglasses, I definitely recommend checking out Warby Parker. I haven't really mentioned any brands to check out. However, they have some great styles and have really become the king of online retailers for eyewear. So if I had to decide on one article of clothing that is really my favorite, that I'm mentioning here, I think it has to be this, the Oxford button down. When it comes to versatile pieces, I don't think anything beats the Oxford button down except for maybe dark denim jeans. An Oxford button down can be worn with a suit and a tie for a more formal look. It can be worn with a pair of jeans for that semi-casual look or even untucked with a pair of shorts in the summer. For colors, I would start with a white or a light blue. So for those really formal events where maybe a white Oxford button down is not enough, you can then take it to the next level and get a white dress shirt. This is a piece of clothing like a suit that you don't want to cut corners on. So take the time, find your measurements, sleeve length, neck size, and your preferred fit. If you already have a white dress shirt, go with a light blue as a secondary option. So you don't wanna wear a suit, but the event or the place that you're going to kind of demands more of a formal look. This is when a trouser like a wool trouser is a perfect option. Wool trousers are a really versatile piece. In addition, they provide a great colder weather option since they are much denser materials and look great with sports coats and blazers. I would recommend a gray or charcoal ones to start. If you already have those colors covered, then go for a rich brown color. Next, we have a navy blue blazer. So a navy blue blazer is really just the epitome of that business casual look. It has the ability to look great with casual pants like a dark denim jean or chinos. It can also look great for more formal occasions with slacks or wool trousers. If you already have a navy blazer, go for a charcoal blazer with a tweed or herringbone type design. That's gonna be another versatile piece and be great during the fall and winter months for you. Next, we have a bomber jacket slash leather jacket. When you're thinking about two of the most casual jackets, a bomber and a leather jacket are probably the two best choices. Personally, I probably would go for the leather bomber jacket to get the best of both worlds. But if leather is not your style, just go for a standard cotton made bomber jacket. An important thing to consider is material here. Many leather jackets are not actually made of real leather, but synthetic compounds. So keep an eye open for quality here. Leather jackets are one of those articles of clothing that will stay with you for years, so it's better to spend more for the quality. And now lastly, we have our winter coats. So specifically, I gave three options here, depending on where you're at and what you prefer. So one is a top coat, the other is an overcoat, and then lastly, a pea coat. So the choice you make here depends on the climate you live in and your lifestyle. If you live in a climate when it's, you know, tends to be a little bit warmer, I'd recommend a pea coat. If you're in a colder weather environment, go with either a top coat or an overcoat, since they are great to utilize when you need to layer up for those cold days. The difference between a top coat and an overcoat are just the fabric densities, top coats being the lighter fabric version. Personally, I much prefer top coats and overcoats for my style as a result of the layering capability I wear them nearly every day throughout the winter and I get so many compliments when wearing them. For colors, I would suggest a gray, black, or charcoal to start, but would really strongly recommend getting a camel one once you fill out those other areas. I love my camel top coat and it is a huge workhorse for me during the winter months. So guys, those are my 16 men's fashion essentials that every guy I feel should have in their wardrobe. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, be sure to subscribe, also hit that bell icon because it all helps out the channel. On this channel, we talk fashion, watches, and everything in between, and be amazing for you to join us on our journey here. And if you're still here, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what is your staple piece of clothing that you wear all the time and enjoy wearing the most. So guys, until next time, be well, and I will see you all very soon.